everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and this is a very impromptu video. I wasn't actually planning to film tonight. That explains why my hair's all frizzy and just a mess. But Ariana Grande just released a new freaking song with her best friend Victoria Monet. Is that how you say her surname? I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming it's Monet. It looks French. The music video for Monopoly came out today and I was just... I was blinded, okay? The makeup that Ariana Grande was wearing, I just instantly knew. I was like, I need to recreate that now. <laughs> it was basically like a cut crease with just glitter all over the lid, which is what I've done today. As soon as I saw it, I just wanted to put glitter all over my face. <laughs> So this is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you how I created this look. I think it turned out pretty good. Obviously, I don't know what product she was using. I've just used what I've got at home. Ariana Grande looks a lot different to me, so it's turned out a lot different on my face and my eyes. But I just wanted to try it at least and recreate it and put a load of glitter all over my eyes. <laughs> I'm a happy girl. <laughs> yeah, if you're interested in how I got this look, just keep on watching. But before we get into the tutorial, if you're new to my channel and you're just now stopping by, hi, hello, why not subscribe to my channel? I have regular videos every single week, twice a week. In fact, I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. I believe this is actually going to be a bonus video on Tuesday, potentially. I'm not quite sure yet. So if you're looking for more content and you somehow found my video, then why not join the family? If you check out my channel, you'll see I do a lot of other things on here as well. Join, all you need to do is click the red subscribe button down below and the bell next to it to get notified of all my future uploads and yeah I think I'm done rambling now without further ado let's get straight into sparkly magicalness <laughs> all right so this is what I kind of came up with <laughs> Hopefully I can recreate this on this eye. I'm first going to go in with my P. Louise base as pretty much per usual. <laughs> I'm going to put quite a bit of this on today. Just because there's so much texture going on, I really want like a nice smooth base underneath. I'm taking it to the inner corner, slightly down the nose, and also past the brow towards my temple. Okay, so I'm using a few different products today, but this was just me literally playing around with what I've got at home, trying to recreate this look. So I had to make do with what I had. So I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original one. First shade I'm going in with is called Butter. And I'm taking this on a Zoeva Petite Crease Brush, a 231 brush. And because we're creating kind of like a cut crease, I'm putting this right above my crease and I'm just patting it on. Now Ariana has like quite a lot more lid space than me because my brow tapers down and hers are very straight. So I'm just gonna try and make the best shape that I can. I'm almost creating like a straight line with the color and I've taken that right out to the edge of the brow and kind of flicked it slightly upwards. Now I'm taking the shade called MEFO on a Morphe M562 brush and I'm going to buff and blend the edges and I'm not leaving space for brow highlight because she doesn't really look like she's got one so I'm just blending it all the way up to my brow. Now I'm going to go back in with my P. Louise base and I'm going to cut the crease and kind of create a little flicked effect like you can see that I've done by here I just kind of curve the color just slightly to shape it and I'm going to try and make them as even as possible. <laughs> I got the shape down now. I think they're even. I hope. <laughs> Probably not. Now I'm gonna go in with this Kiko pigment. Did a comparison video with this compared to Fenty because it has a very similar kind of sheen, but this has a lot of base color to it. So I'm gonna use this for the outer half of my eye. This is the All Over Dazzle powder and it's the Christmas special one. I'm just picking this up on a packer brush using the Spectrum A13 brush to put this on the outer corner. I'm just gonna start packing this. I am gonna get a lot of fallout from this, just an FYI. I'm taking this right up to the crease and kind of creating a sharp line with it. And I'm coming down on an angle. In the music video, it looks like she's got very much like an angle definition between the two colors. So I packed that right the way out to the brow pretty much because it's everywhere, guys. In this music video, she has glitter everywhere. <laughs> okay, so now we have that on there. I'm gonna go on the inner corner with Jaclyn Hill palette again, and I'm gonna use the shade Little Lady. This is gonna be our base for our color. gonna do some reshaping so I match the other eye. <laughs> okay, so now we kind of have that segregated color. Now it's time for the glitter. <laughs> I'm gonna use the NYX glitter glue to apply it. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and then apply it to the brush. I'm using the Morphe M421 and I'm gonna ever so lightly pat this on. I don't wanna really disturb the color underneath and I'm doing color by color so 
I don't have glitter going everywhere and so it doesn't stick to the places that I don't want it to. For the rose gold coppery shade I'm taking Smolder Cosmetics glitter and this is in the shade Autumn. I'm using the same brush, woo look at that, <laughs> and I'm just gonna pack this on the lid. Okay so now I've packed that on, it's now time for the outer part and the glitter that I used for this part out here was the crystallized glitter by Ally Splash and this is in the shade Pina Colada and it's just like a white glitter with a silver reflect and I'm doing exactly the same for this glitter as I did with the other one, I'm just using a different brush to pat this glue on and I would suggest working in segments so you get the best glitter payoff. To make sure I get a nice crisp line, I'm taking this tiny little liner brush and I'm just going to put the glue right below it and then I'm going to go over that with some more glitter. <laughs> focus. So to just kind of make the gradient slight, I'm taking the excess copper on the brush and I'm just patting over the edge. Okay, so now I'm going to tightline my lash line and I'm just going to use a brown. And now for the wing. <laughs> Please pray for me because I don't think I'm going to be able to get these even. For one, my eyes are completely different shapes. And two, I tend not to do liner that often just because I prefer not to. <laughs> I don't like my life too complicated. <laughs> I'm going to use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I didn't breathe when I did that then. Oh my gosh. Did I do it? <laughs> For my inner corner kind of highlight, I'm going to use the Kiko pigment again. She looks like she's got some brightness on the inner corner. I've just added it slightly as you can see. So I'm just going to go over the glitter that we've already put down. We're not taking it too high or anything. This is just like speaking to my soul right now. Woo. Now it's time for mascara. I'm going to use the Mascara Revolution by Makeup Revolution. She looks like she's got some clumpy lashes, which is my fave kind. <laughs> One thing I do like about liner is I can be kind of messy with my mascara and it doesn't matter because I already have black on my eyes. This is when my lazy girl really, really comes through. <laughs> For brows, I just kept them super duper simple. I just ran a tinted brow gel through my brows and then I used the MUA Brow Define Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil and I just kind of run that through the sparse areas. Okay, so the eyes aren't completely done, but I wanna do the face and everything like that first. So let's zoom you guys out and just discuss the skin and everything. So she has pretty matte skin throughout the whole video. So I'm just gonna do kind of normal priming. I'm gonna use my Barry M Primer Drops and also my Benefit Professional, just so I have a smooth base cause she looks like she, you know, is just newly born and everything. <laughs> I literally have none of this primer left. <laughs> Where are you? I really need to get a new one of these. I'm gonna be extra and blend this another brush because I have glitter all over my hands right now. <laughs> this feels really good. <laughs> For foundation, I'm going to use the Collection Conceal and Define. This is just pretty matte and uh, pretty perfecting, so that's what we need. See, the looks kind of coming together now that I have a little bit of skin on. Ew, that sounds gross. I always have skin on, but you know what I mean. <laughs> for concealer, I'm going to use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer, and this is in the shade Lace. I actually think this is a little dark. I haven't used this in a while. This is the Barry M All Night Long Concealer in the shade Milk. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to lighten up the under eye. And let's blend and conceal these bags. Man, I love that Jouer Concealer. I forgot how much I liked it. I've been loving the e.l.f. one for a minute, but that just like, just smooths my under eye so nicely. I'm gonna go in with the CYO Contour Stick. I'm gonna just chisel out just a little bit. gonna quickly clean up my brows just a, just a little bit just gonna add a little bit of a sweeping of contour I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Pro Contour palette thing I'm just gonna like sweep 
it upwards. I don't know, I'm just trying stuff here, guys. <laughs> I wanna chisel those cheekbones. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer shade in here that's suitable for my skin tone. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add a slight amount of that to kind of like the top of my cheekbones, almost like the in-between part. I forgot to set my under eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Kiko Radiant Fusion Baked Powder in 01. Okay, now for blush, I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics Nude Blush 10 color palette. I'm gonna go in with this peachy one right on the end. This will kind of like tie in with the glitter really. I brightened up my under eye just a little bit with the pale powder in here. I'd never tried it before, but it worked kind of a little bit. Now she doesn't really have a highlight, which is offensive, but she doesn't. So I'm gonna go in with the Sunlit Dream Palette from Revlon. And I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is the Spectrum B08 brush. Just gonna take a little bit of this golden color and mix it in with the pink one. Tap off all the excess and I'm just gonna kind of like glide it over the top because I don't really want an obvious highlight. Just a little summon summon. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the face. I popped to set it. I'm just gonna use the Revolution Pro Supreme Holds Finishing Spray. For her lip, she has a very natural nude matte lip going on. It pretty much looks identical to my favorite nude at the moment, so that's great. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Soft Spoken. And instead of following my cubist bow, I'm gonna kind of draw in between, so we've got that kind of rounded, plump look to our lips. And then just to create like a plumper look, I filled in the corners of my mouth just to kind of give the illusion. And then finally, I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Can't Relate. <laughs> contour my nose a little bit because it's just looking a little lost in the rest of the face. <laughs> okay, so let's finish off the eyes real quick. It's going to be super duper simple. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to line my eyes and I'm going to use the same brown that I used on the tight line. I barely ever wear dark colors on my waterline anymore, so this is different for me. <laughs> then from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take the color Central Park, which is just a nice dark brown color. And I'm just going to place that on top of the liner and kind of smoke it out just a little bit. I mainly just focused that at the outer corner and now I'm gonna blend out a little bit with the first shade we used, which was butter. Whenever I hear this word, it just reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. And that is pretty much the look guys. I'm just gonna add some lashes because I feel like it needs some lashes. <laughs> and then yeah. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So this is the finished Ariana Grande inspired look from the music video Monopoly. I love the way that this look turned out. <laughs> As you guys know, I love sparkle and this is just everything. Really has brought some joy into my life to just shove a load of glitter all over my lids. I love it. I love it so much. This literally dropped a few hours ago, so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get this up soon. But literally, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that needs to go on my face. Thank you very much. <laughs> the way I forgot to say, the lashes that I use, they're Olivia by Doll Beauty, considering how much glitter I got on. It really needed something. So I hope you like this kind of impromptu video. Uh, very random, very out of the blue, but I just felt inspired. So I decided to put on a lot of makeup. <laughs> I know this is kind of a little bit all over the place. I've used quite a few products, but again, this is just me playing around with makeup. <laughs> if you enjoyed this makeup look, then please give a thumbs up. So I know I'd definitely be down for playing with some more glitter in the future. <laughs> so that would really help me out. If you're only now stopping on my channel as well, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of makeup things like product reviews, chit chat, get ready with me, some tutorials. So if you enjoy all things like that, then don't forget to subscribe. Hit the red button down below and the bell button so you get notified of all my uploads. But yeah, anyway, I've got to go take this makeup off now because it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> I just put all this glitter on just to take it off. Anyway guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. Which pretty much looks identical to, which pretty much looks identical, what am I saying? So I'm gonna go in with the NYX, so I'm gonna go in, so I'm gonna go in with the...